everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to break down the top NBA plays on tonight's FanDuel slate. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. Plenty of value on the board. Eight games on the slate. Let's go. Let's get to it. And let's get to the Boston Celtics, who really have no players. But maybe tonight they'll actually play. And one of the players that will play is Peyton Pritchard who's been awesome for Boston lately. He's priced at $5,200. If the Celtics play, Peyton Pritchard is going to be a major, major cog in that offense. Yeah, the Celtics had uh, somewhat of a de facto bye week, and this is going to be their first game since January 8th. Now, you know, prior to this, when they were fully healthy, Pritchard was coming off the bench playing 18, 20, 22 minutes a game, which is good, you know, a solid role player. And now, because they're down so many players to the health and safety protocol, he could A, be either in the starting lineup or B, playing increased minutes off the bench, kind of similar to what we saw the Miami Heat do the other day, where they were running a seven, eight-man rotation Players were out there playing 30, 35, 40 minutes, which is absolutely amazing, you know, for a player that's $5,000, $5,500. So that's where Pritchard is tonight. You know, going up against the Magic, it's probably not going to have the highest over-under. But right now, Orlando allowing 53.01 to Fandle points per game to opposing point guards. That's the fourth worst in the league. So we're taking all the minutes. We're taking a great salary at 5200 and we're getting all the value from Pritchard. As Tom said, a de facto bye week this past week for the Boston Celtics. Let's see if they come out with those fresh legs tonight. Peyton Pritchard priced at $5,200 is going to have a major role. We'll see who else plays for Boston. But you know Pritchard will be out there, and you know he should be in your FanDuel lineups. Up next, one of the guys I have liked really since college. I, I felt like he's always been undervalued, underutilized, and I know I'm on an island with that. But not tonight, I'm not. Because Tom also likes Willie Colley Stein. He's priced at $5,000 for Dallas. Why is tonight the night that people are going to finally get in on Willie Colley Stein? Yeah, and I have to agree with you there. You know, throughout his time in the NBA, it seems like he just doesn't get enough playing time. And at least from a fantasy perspective, when he's out there, he's actually being really efficient. And that's where we kind of see him with the Mavericks this season. A .93 Fandle points per minute right now. And this is when we account for both Dwight Powell and Maxi Cleaver and Josh Richardson and Dorian Finney-Smith out of the lineup for the Mavericks due to health and safety protocols. So they're another team that's dealing with uh, a, a few players being out. We know that the Mavericks just got Porzingis back. We know that the Mavericks have Boban uh, behind Willie Colley Stein, but Boban doesn't play a whole lot of minutes. Uh, Porzingis only played 21 minutes in his first game. So, frankly, Willie Colley Stein has to be out there. And at $5,000 in a game against the Bucks with a 226 point over under, we're getting plenty of production from him. We're getting 23 minutes or more in these recent four games. Uh, there's really nothing not to like about Willie Colley Stein at $5,000 tonight. Colley Stein is a little bit of everything, man, and he's going to get the minutes today because there's no one else to get the minutes instead of him. Colley Stein at $5,000 for Dallas is someone that should be out and in your lineups this evening. Finally, we go to Cleveland, another just totally banged-up team. The Cavaliers' injury report is just ridiculous. And tonight at $5,100, one person that's going to be out there, it's Chetty Oseman, who is – obviously very talented and we've seen used him before and, and he's somebody that you can absolutely get in your lives on a regular basis but tonight without so many Cavs in the lineup Ozman is is very valuable exactly and the Cavaliers are just dealing with normal injuries it's not health and safety protocols they are without Kevin Love Kevin Porter Darius Garland Colin Sexton they traded away uh, whoever it was, Dante Exum, they waived uh, JaVale McGee. So their lineup is actually just a mess right now. And we know Osman should be out there for plenty of minutes. A 23.6% usage rate is actually pretty solid for a role player of $5,100. He's only producing 0.73 Fanduel points per minute. But the matchup against the Knicks tonight is not something you have to worry about. They're allowing 40 Fanduel points per game to opposing small forwards. He's going to be out there for 30, 33 minutes doing his normal thing, filling up the rest of the stat sheet. And that's where we want to take him at $5,100. $5,100 for Chetty Osmond. And again, it's just about the amount of minutes he's going to be out there with so many calves banged up, uncovid related just normal wear and tear related here. Osmond's going to be a, a primary option in this Cavaliers offense, so take a shot on him, especially at this price tag. That's going to do it for us here the FanDuel Hurry Up. Tom, we appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. Good luck to you. Have a good weekend. All right, you two, enjoy the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. No hurry up Monday, but we'll be back Tuesday to talk to Davis Maddock about next week on the PGA Tour. For Tom Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Enjoy the game this weekend, everybody. We'll see you back here next week for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.